I want to talk to you about living with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or better known as COPD, which is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, obstructed because they trap the air inside the sac, and it's hard for them to be able to get air in and out, but it's harder to get it out because it's trapped. So it's called chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It's uh, after it's properly diagnosed, uh, it's you can set up some type of a plan for yourself with your doctor. Uh, it's best if you go to a pulmonary rehabilitation center that's uh, either privately based or a hospital based program where they can start you on the right foot. Many people who get uh, diagnosed with COPD will wait until they get so chronically ill later on in latter stages of uh, chronic lung disease that uh, they just can't exercise or they, they just can't hardly do anything anymore because they've waited so long. But early detection, early diagnosis will start you on the right program. The way they diagnose you is with spirometry and arterial blood gases and chest x-rays and your doctor listening to your complaints. Uh, don't see it as a death sentence. That's the most important thing you can see is that it's not uh, a death sentence. Um, you need to stop the irrit irritants that's to your lungs. That will cause less damage to the lining of the lung. It will cause less, less damage so that the air can get in and it won't be trapped so, so easily because that's the main problem with trapping of the air. Uh, clean air is very good. Get yourself a clean air machine uh, and fresh uh, vegetables and meats daily, eating well and exercising. Uh, don't take any over-the-counter inhalers or go and try to get diuretics or sodium or anything like that over-the-counter. You do not want to take over-the-counter medications at any time, no matter if you run out of medications. Uh, only use what your doctor prescribes, especially your pulmonologist who's going to be following you if you have one for your chronic lung disease. Um, oxygen therapy and nebulizer treatments with medications and oral medications are extremely important to you to use them correctly and to stop any type of smoking or inhalants, as I said before. Uh, drinking plenty of clean or cool water, not too cold and not too hot. Uh, making sure that your bowels are moving daily and properly so that uh, you won't have buildup of pressure that pushes up on your chest wall so that you can't get the air in and out. Pace yourself. Don't panic. Try to be calm. Uh, be uh, a participant and a regular participant in a pulmonary rehab program trying to learn how to breathe properly, how to bathe and dress and hygiene, and how to keep down infections, how to do cooking, even if you have to, uh, to sit, uh, how to do your shopping at a pace. And this, this calls for daily living routine to be uh, uh, paced correctly for your disorder. And it'll make it easier for you to live longer. And um, if you'll just start out with uh, a good pulmonary rehab program, when you're first diagnosed, I have seen patients over the years have lived for 20, 25 years, still living, that I have been following for this many years that have been on continuous oxygen, nebulizer treatment, and they've had chronic lung disease along with uh, other disorders that are, are complications of, uh, such as heart disease and right heart failure but they have lived a long and productive life because they have been a compliant patient listening to the doctor and following the orders of their physician.